Hello y'all, welcome back to the series. Today is part two, we are here at the Kingsley Plantation. Um, I am walking down the path here to get over there. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please leave a like on today's video. And if you are new, welcome to the channel and subscribe for more. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and you guys will take a look at this beautiful property. Give me one second. All right y'all, so here is the Kingsley Plantation. Um, it is a nice area. I have never been here before, <laughs> and I live in the area for many years, and I never knew this was here. So I call this a secret gem, honestly, because it's way back. You see the river. Um, it has other areas here. Big, big, big oak trees, a lot of moss. So yeah, you guys will come in. You'll park here. You'll get to walk down this lovely trail. At the beginning of the entrance, you'll see the slave quarters. We'll go look at that at the end of the video or at the end of this part, sorry. Um, and then we have a garden over here, a visitor center, and all of that. So we'll take a look at the plantation itself first. Uh, certain areas we can't go inside, um, but other areas we can. But yeah, this is so, so pretty. I mean, I've always wanted to live in a, you know, Vic not Victorian, but a home like this. I mean, this is down my alley. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, guys, um, if you guys want to read these, you can pause and read the video, or pause the video and read. It tells you about the history of the plantation itself. And there's a lot of them around the property, so um, I'll take a look. I'll stop and look at those as well. Here's one here. They have signs that tell you where everything is. This over here, I think, is the barn. And then, yeah, we'll go out there and take a look at the river, too. It's so nice. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start. They also have an audio tour. Um, I will find a link for that and I'll leave it in the description. So in here, this is the kitchen. Um, obviously shoes, sh no shoes, no shirt, no service. <laughs> and it is so nice in here. It feels lovely. I'm to keep the AC on. So yeah, come in through that door. I mean, it is so nice. See, this is the type of house I would love to live in. So yeah, here's another one about managing the plantation. You guys can pause and read. So most of these plantations here in Florida were about sugarcane and cotton. Um, so I will have a history of the whole Timaquan Preserve at the end of the series. So here is, the, I'm assuming this is the dining room. I mean, look at the floor. It's made out of seashells. What more could you want? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and go out. They do have an upstairs. I don't think we're allowed up there. Nope, we are not. Stairs are closed. So this is what's called Anna's Parlor. I can come in here. And another lovely fireplace. The doors need some WD-40. Okay. So you guys can pause and read. I'll get as close as I can. Lively fireplace. I mean, come on. <laughs> So Anna Kingsley, you guys can read about her. All right. So there's the dining room again and a lovely hallway. I'm assuming it leads to nothing. <laughs> so here is another display. They have a lot of these in the area, as you can tell. You guys can pause and read. They did have polit uh, politics back in the day. But this reminds me of, um, you guys have ever seen the series Outlander. I love that series. This reminds me of their cabin, to be honest. <laughs> so if you do like that, leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite episode was. All right. I love this in here. I mean, this is so gorgeous. Let's look at the floor. So we're not allowed in this section of the plantation. 
but I will peek in there, peek the camera in. This leads to a basement that we're not allowed in either. <laughs> at the door I mean come on <laughs> so they did do reservation or renovations over many years um, to make the place look better so and you know being in Florida we do have hurricanes and wind storms and all that so you need shutters so basically it looks the same you have another fireplace oops sorry bunch of different little areas in there. Right, we're gonna go around the back side of the plantation. So yeah, again, I mean, there's not really much to see because you're not allowed to in certain areas. But I'll do my research and find what, um, if there's any like tours of the inside, you know, VIP stuff. And I'll leave that link in the description below as well. But I think this is my favorite. I mean, look at the trees. <laughs> It is my favorite part. This right here. Actually, right here is where I got the picture for the uh, thumbnail. It's right in the back. Um, my camera was acting up, so I came out here a couple days ago, or last week, and the camera didn't even record any of it. So, we're trying this again. <laughs> but yeah, here is the back of the plantation. This is where I got my photo. I got it standing literally right here. Right here. So yeah. Like I said, we're not allowed inside this part of the plantation. I guess it was the living quarters. But yeah, someone's fishing out there. But yeah, this is the St. John, I think this is the St. John's River. Part of the St. John's River or in a coastal waterway. I don't remember. So as in terms of um, accessibility, of course, there is this uh, dirt trail up or mulch trail. Other than that, um, you can't really get up the steps. Uh, anybody in a wheelchair could get inside the kitchen area and the other area that went into. Um, and they have a ramp up into the visitor center. And there's more back here that I'll go take a look at in a minute. Let's go look at the visitor center. Now. So that's a boat dock over there. We'll go take a look at that later. So again, they have uh, junior programs. They're free and open to the public. You can get your audio tours here. I will take a look at this and tell you guys more about it. I will leave this link in the description so you guys can see that this is for the audio tour. Or just scan here with your phone. Alright, so in there is a video, or the visitor center and bookstore. We'll go in there in a minute. They encourage recycling. That is lovely. Here are the restrooms around the back of the visitor center and we're not allowed inside there I don't think so we'll take a look at the visitor center in a minute let's go look at the boat dock so I haven't I haven't done this yet but yeah if you guys love the video so far like I said please leave a like leave a comment down below tell me what you think of the plantation dock over there. Here's some more of these. I'll let you guys pause and read. You got the whole plantation era. Yeah, this was known for the Spanish. The waterways where they all come from. Let you pause and read. Get down here. 
So they have the corner room accessed from the porches. This is the front porch. Waterway. So yeah, that's the front of the plantation. Um, fireplace, added room, original house, and they had changes. So that was the original house. So yeah, I'll let you pause and read. It is a lovely day today. It's not too hot, not too cold. The wind is just right. <laughs> yeah, let's go take a look at the boat dock. So yeah, the Timaquan Preserve is a huge area. I mean, there's more than just this. I mean, I know there's, it, go, it stretches through the whole St. John's River area. Um, you have down A1A, if you're familiar with the Jacksonville area, A1A or Hexer Drive. You have the cruise terminal down on the other side. You come to the, you go right towards, or you know, go east, and then you have all of this area up here. Um, in next week's video, you'll see um, an area called Pumpkin Hill. It's one of the more beautiful state parks to me. Um, I did a little bit of walking, you guys will see that. Um, if you guys want to see more of walking or exercising, please let me know. Um, I'll try my best. Um, I know I need to start exercising a little more. I need to start losing weight. That's a goal of mine for this year. Lose some weight. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like, look at the area. It's so nice. So nice. All right. Here's another one about Fort George Island. Also in this video, there is another area. So here's the slave quarters here. You have the plantation, that, and we are here at the boat dock. Um, that there, I have no idea what that is, to be honest with you. I think it's a... Uh, I honestly think it's a um, a farm or a barn, but they used it for church and stuff too, and you guys will see that in a minute. All right, you guys can pause and read this. We do have manatees here. Uh, they are very nice creatures. I mean, they love to to uh, swim with you. <laughs> we can go take a look at the boat dog. I have never done this. I didn't even know this was here. Again, tell me guys or tell me what you guys like about this area I mean it is so nice and peaceful I mean there was houses down a1a Hexer Drive that I mean you have to dream <laughs> I mean it is so nice like mansions and I always want to live in mansions I mean this I'm not rich by any means <laughs> I would love to just get one and live in it another one you guys can pause and read sorry if you can't see this one over here too well and here's another one over here you have the slave trade through the years I mean that is just unimaginable that you can go it always wow I mean this is just Unimaginable. So yeah, I mean, we have all of this here in the area. But yeah, Jacksonville is known for its oysters and shrimp. So you can definitely smell fish through here. So yeah, but here is this. Looks so nice. Hmm. We got the marshland. Uh, you, you cannot fish from this dock. No fishing is allowed. Um, just so you know. Alright guys,
guys, we're gonna go ahead and go take a look at the visitor center now. I am gonna stop at the restroom for a quick minute. So I will take a break and do that and I'll come back on and show you the visitor store, our visitor center store. I'll put a little time lapse in right here so you guys don't have to sit here and be bored as I'm walking back. <laughs> So I'm going to cut the video right here for now. Use the restroom real quick. And I'll be back for the visitor center. Alright, y'all. Right, we're going to go ahead and go inside the bookstore. Take a look at that. And then we'll go to get some other stuff. So yeah, it's a pretty basic bookstore and visitor center. Um, I don't think we can get inside any other way. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go look at the barn and the slave quarters. And then we'll be... Oh, and the garden over there. We'll take a look at the garden first. And then we'll go look at the barn and slave quarters next. Um, let's see if they, if they have other doors. I don't know if you can get inside them. And I don't want to try and get in trouble, you know? <laughs> Sorry for the wind. So they have another door here. So we'll take a look at the garden. All right, so here's the garden. It's nothing fancy. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. We'll go ahead and stop here and you guys can pause and read the, the little sign here. So yeah, like I said, they did a lot of cotton here. Um, planting of cotton is how they made their money um, with, you know, being able to slave tra or trade the slaves and stuff. Yeah, like I said, all of the history will be in, um, not next week's video, but probably the video after that. And I might do a separate video itself, we'll have to see. We will see. So 
I do have my family and some friends here with me today. I may or may not want to be in the video. So, if they don't want to need to talk to them, I'm going to pause the video. <laughs> Just for one. Alright, so here is the barn. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and go on over to the slave quarters. I'm not going to take a look at every single one of them, just because they're mainly the same. The last one does have its roof. The rest of them, I think the roofs have caved in um, for the, you know, the many of years that they've been standing. Uh, I'll do some research on that and let y'all know at the end of the series. Okay, they do have many ways of getting there. Um, like I said, for any, you know, handicapped, disability uh, accommodations, accessibility, um, it's more of trails. So I don't know how well a wheelchair would do in dirt. I don't want to try it. <laughs> um, oh, forewarn, if, you, if anybody does come down here and take a look, um, it is a one and a half mile drive on dirt roads like this gravel there's a lot of potholes so be careful um, they have employee areas over here and over here and then there is a small walking trail here which i will walk and you can bring rvs i mean this is rvs from RV <laughs> Rhode Island so you can definitely smell this pine here Like I said, I'll go inside one, and then I'm just going to show the rest of them off, because they're pretty much the same around. Oh yeah, you can smell the pine. Sometimes I wish YouTube had smell-o-vision. I wish anyone had smell-o-vision. So I'm going to pause right here for a second, and just bask the beautifulness of the area. All right. You can see the slave quarters coming up. And I lost my family. I don't even know where they went. <laughs> it's probably them texting me now. Nope, it's not. Uh, I'll find them. Oh, there they are. I see them. I see them. So, after this, you guys will be seeing a clubhouse, or an inn. It's called Rybalt Clubhouse. Um, it is on the property as well. It is so nice. I'll leave stuff, again, I'll leave stuff in the description below. So, here's one of the slave houses. It has no roof. I think it's caved in, to be honest. You know, they used to have fireplace. I mean, it's a little cramped. But it's nothing. Yeah. I can live with it. <laughs> I would want the one with the roof, I think. Which is up here at the end. So, like I said, pretty much everything's the same. Made out of seashells, like everything else is here. Bunch of different forts are made out of seashells. This one looks like concrete. 
that one are the seashells. But it looks so nice. One of my friends, I sent the picture. They said, Can I live there? <laughs> Here's my family right there. This one's completely caved in. Wow. See, a lot of them don't have their roof and walls. <laughs> I wonder what happened. I really do. Like I guess I'm going to do my research on that and. I'll let you guys know in the last part of the, uh, or I'll come in and do something within the video here, or leave it linked in the description, one of the two. So there's more of those little signage there, so. Hey, did y'all enjoy it? Yeah, we're looking, we're looking for the trail, but I don't know how to go So here's the one with the roof. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Did all the walls cave in? There's no roofs? I mean, like, what? I don't know. They might have just got wet. <laughs> Sorry, go around. So here's the one with the roof. And this is the one I'd want to live in. <laughs> if it was just me. And there's some firewood in there. Like I said, if it was just me, I would be comfortable. I put my kitchen right here, and I put my bed right here. <laughs> And then the living room here, bathroom, I'm in the woods. Hey, I said I'd be comfortable with this if it was just me. <laughs> yeah. I put my living room here. I put my kitchen there and bedroom here. <laughs> and then, you know, you're in the uh, woods, so you don't have to use, you know, you don't have to bathroom or shower or anything. So. I think this was the slave. These are the slave quarters, definitely. I don't know. You know how much it costs them to put a lift on just there? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So here is the how they built the slave cabins. Well, I guess we passed it. I don't think that's a there's a trail for what? Man, he was going down a trail, but it's it's crazy. We could never find it. So yeah, like I said, everything is mainly made out of seashells, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. S sand seashells and yeah. And oyster shells and the water. I can't beat people and stuff. Oops, that, sorry. I'm not made for this kind of stuff. I know. So here's another audio tour. I hurt somebody. And... So, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I'll see you when we get over to the Rye Ball Clubhouse. All right, y'all. So I am here at the Rybalt Club Visitor Center. Now, I don't know if this is the actual clubhouse or not. There is a couple little things here. Um, so we can see what we're looking at. Let's see. I don't know if this is the whole clubhouse or not. All right, so. Oh, we can come in. Oh, okay. So, wow. So, yeah, we're going to go in, and we're going to go look at all of this just around. But, yeah, that's what it looks like. And that. Alrighty. So, here we are inside. Wow. That thing's for sale here. Just, Wow. So we're going to go down here first, and we'll come back around. Wow. Just wow. Mm. 
you look at this dining room? Alright, so my battery on my camera is dying, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my phone. Give me one. Alright, I have switched to my phone now. This, this is just... Wow. <laughs> wow. I think this is my favorite room so far in the whole place. <laughs> So I'm assuming this is like a ballroom, dining room type. Wow. All right, so let's continue along down here. We'll come back over there. They said to tour the whole house, it'd be fine. Just upstairs is office space. So we won't go up there. <laughs> but we will look at all of this. So there's the other side there. This must be the kitchen. Wilderness. Wow. So they have little exhibits here, which is really nice. So they have the different years on it, too. This was 1513. Wow. See, I'm not gonna go through everything because we don't have too much time left. We gotta be leaving here pretty soon. But you guys can get the gist of what is in here. So that one there is closed off right there. But see, this is where we are right now. So we're here. We're right here. Jacksonville is down south, so. But all right, let's go ahead and... I wish I had more time, but I don't. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. Let's keep going. What is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, come on. Uh, it's just playing around. <laughs> All right, so who was first on this island? I do want to look at that. Hunters and gatherers. Okay. Wow. Let's go up here and take a look. We're going to go back this way. There's other areas to look at, too. So. So it said they have a little movie playing in here and it runs about 15 minutes. I'm just gonna go in there and take a look real quick. Sorry if it's a little shaky. <laughs> so this is the little area here. Is that supposed to have ice, but it doesn't. So, so they have a little movie in here playing. It lasts about 15 minutes. It shows the history of the Ball Club and the whole area. But I'm not going to watch it because we don't have much time. So we'll have to come back. <laughs> There's another one of the dining room ballroom areas, I'm assuming. And that, might, that is the kitchen in there. It's just so beautiful. What do you think? Beautiful? That's the kitchen. I know. <laughs> I love the floor right here. 
So that goes upstairs. Got restrooms over here if you guys do need to go to the restroom. That's it. Oh, look at the little door. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then that leads to nowhere as well. So I guess that's all that we can look at. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay, I'll walk through this little area right here again real quick. Yeah. I know my sister in Oakland, Pennsylvania, we have friends with her son that does. And we got invited. Look at the little bag. <laughs> How much is it? Fourteen ninety nine. Fifteen dollars. Got the fill of the life and the little cup as well. And then that goes upstairs. Alright, that's all. That's it. Again. All right. Uh, this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, personal and, um... Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Sorry if it is a little short again. So if you do like the series, leave a like on the video. If you are new, consider subscribing to the channel. A lot more of this to come. And again, uh, until the next one, see you guys later. Alright, so we're here at Edward Tree now. Um, I brought my phone today.